So today we're going to be out picking up the line. It's uh, mid-February. The season closes for me at the end of February. I'm going to change locations and trap on the other side of my line for the last week of the season. So one of the things I always do is I suit up when I get to my trap line instead of wearing all my heavy gear. And that's because I'm concerned about uh, overheating because if you start off and you're sweating a bit and you take off in the bush, it's going to make it uh, an uncomfortable day. So I always suit up as soon as I get to the bush and then I'm ready to go. And that way there I don't have to worry about freezing, it, catching a chill because I'm sweating already. So you remember my last tip and I was saying about making your trails wide. We've had two snowstorms since the last time I was out and you can barely see my trail but because I made it a lot wider than normal I can see the depression and I'm less likely to get stuck in slush. Had I not made it wider it's easy to fall off the trail and get into slush. Slush doesn't bother my Scandic too much but it's always a lot more fun to avoid it where you can and by making your trails a little bit wider than what you think is necessary, times like this, it really pays off. So what I've done today is I've driven up to the end of my line because I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to move locations for the last uh, couple of weeks of the season. There's a saying in trapping, it's called uh, new places and fresh faces. So what we try to work on all the time is taking the surplus animals out of an area and moving on. So uh, there's Martin tracks, I miss a Martin, so I know there's still seed here for next year. And uh, I'm going to pull out the line today and that's, uh, that's kind of our run today is pick it up and move to a different location. Okay, so here's some really good lesson here. Always check your boxes. Don't check them from the machine. Get out and physically check them because lo and behold, I have a great big Martin caught here and he never got out of the box. So there's a real good lesson is make sure you always get off your machine, check your sets. You should be checking for bait. You should be checking for, uh, for uh, captures because like that one was totally hidden. I couldn't even see it from the machine. I thought I had nothing here and here I have a Martin. Okay, one thing I always do that makes sure when I'm closing down my run is I always empty out my boxes. I take my chunk of bait out. If I don't need it, I just chuck it on the trail. If I think I'm gonna use it and it's still pretty fresh like this one, I'll bring it with me and throw it in my bucket. So always empty out your boxes and you won't have problems with bears. That's why I'm, I'm worried about leaving it in the box. 
Okay, I always like to check my boxes. I see this trap has been fired and set off. It always kind of bothers me when I have a miss like that because a miss, an empty trap like this, I'm not making any money when I'm out here doing this. It's not very efficient. So I'm always trying to figure out why, why did I miss? Did the bait get caught in it? See, so yeah, I just have a little bit of piece of bait left. But you can see again, my idea is always trying to make sure the animals hang and free and, and, and away from the tree and that. So take, always take a few seconds, check your sets and say, why did I miss? Is it just a straight out miss? Is there any hair in it? Is there any fur in it or anything? I mean, it's just a complete um, miss in, on this one. So I have no idea what happened here, but uh, I still had bait in it. The bait wasn't caught, caught in it. You know how I cut my flat like that? That's because I don't want my bait rolling into the trap. So I'm at a kind of a loss here as to why I missed today. And the other thing I do is I always try to roll up my traps. Because just throwing them in the, in the sleigh like that in the box, I'll have a big mess to deal with. So I just take a second, close, close them up like so. Lots of bait in this one. Always, always clean out your box. That way there, you're not going to have problems with bears. and be a little bit of smell, but they don't usually fool around with it too much because there's not enough there to really interest them. Is this already? Notice right underneath here, there's mouse tracks. So after you've been in an area for a certain amount of time, the mice really start picking up on your bait and everything, and they'll they'll eat up a lot of your bait. So you can see my traps fired off, and my bait is right down to the backbone. So it's a good area to move on from now. I'm done here. So kind of an interesting day. My very first set on the on the run has a martin, and my very last set had a martin, which is I'm I'm good with because it's late in the season and I was picking up today. But uh, just a trick I use if I'm running back on the same trail that I'm coming in on, I'll run to my last set, pick everything up on the way out. And then that way there, if something happens, at least I have a nice hard trail to walk in or a packed trail to walk in. And that way there, I'm, I'm maximizing my time, especially today, like I'm pulling, but I would, I just pick everything up on the way out. I don't have to worry about rebaiting, reluring or anything. I'm just cleaning out my boxes, picking up my traps. So success today, first trap and last trap, pretty cool. Hello. What's up? Hey, Oscar. Hello, buddy. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in our next video.